Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we are going to create this beautiful matrix diagram. This is a very popular business diagram and I mean it is widely used in business presentations to compare some kind of product solution or something or to represent data in a matrix chart. This is a very popular diagram. So to create this kind of chart I mean it's a very simple process to create this diagram we will create like nine rounded square shapes and we will arrange these squares in three by three matrix so it is a very easy diagram for I mean to make them more appealing we will apply the shadow effect but we will change the default shadow color from black to something blue it gives a really nice effect of some kind of background light uh, that is behind these squares these rounded squares so let's insert this small triangle and flip it vertically and place it like at the center of this square and remove its outline we will duplicate it again and place it here and we will again duplicate it and place it here now we will rotate this triangle by 90 degrees to the left like this and we will place it like this on all these squares now we will subtract this triangle from the squares and we will repeat the same process in all these five squares so we have removed this portion of triangle from all, the, all these squares now this is what we have let's insert this rounded rectangle and we will place it here now we are creating a shape which will be used for the heading for these columns so we will we have removed the outline and let's send it to back and apply i mean duplicate it and place it behind the rounded rectangles rounded squares once done we will fill beautiful gradient colors and here you can search gradients online and fill any color you want make sure there is some symmetry between the colors colors should be complementary and match each other and to understand more about colors you should definitely search for color theories so here you can see we have filled blue gradient now we will fill something close to green and we will then fill something yellow then red then purple so this is how the colors I mean this is how I fill the colors gradient colors it starts from blue green yellow orange red and then purple now as we have filled the colors it's time to apply shadow effect top shadow on the top rounded rectangles and left shadow on the left rectangles so you can experiment with these sliders here blur transparency to make sure you get the best shadow effect which is more realistic now it's the time to insert a few icons here for icons, Microsoft Office 365 has this inbuilt option to insert icons. So many of you generally comment and email me about how can we get this icons tab at the top inside insert menu. So guys, you have to purchase Office 365 subscription and then only you would be able to find that option. Otherwise, you can download free icons from various online sources you have to search google for that 
and there are plenty of these online sources where you can download free icons so we have inserted these icons text and now for the purpose of adding some aesthetics we are you know designing a shape here for that we have cut the rounded rectangle to half and let's place it at the center at the bottom of all these rounded squares so you have to apply a gradient color here and what we will do is on the left gradient stop we will pick the row color and on the right gradient stop we will pick the column color and we will follow the same approach in all these shapes so let's duplicate it and place it throughout these rounded squares and once placed we will change their gradient colors as per the technique that I have already told you on the left we will fill the row color and on the right we will fill the column color so here I am demonstrating how you have to do that so the green is on the left it's on the first row you can see it's a green row and then we are filling the column color on the second gradient stop here so it's a repetitive process you have to do these steps on all these shapes and in the end you will get this kind of color combination now let's write the column headings here for the matrix so these days I am following the Oswald font so I like this font as it is a very straight kind of font so let's duplicate this text box and place it here and here you have to focus on the alignment make sure everything is middle aligned now duplicate it and rotate it by 90 degrees towards the left and place it like this and again duplicate it and place it at the second and third row now let's extend this extend the rows till the end and we will follow the same approach on the columns as well we will extend these and here you can see our design is complete here and it is looking very beautiful very colorful very cheerful very positive and if you will showcase your client this kind of metric diagram it's really gonna have a positive impact on the viewer and if you have liked this slide and like this design please subscribe to our channel hit the like button share this video to the maximum number of users and keep motivating us so that we can come out with a lot more such designs and ideas and you can also join the subscription of course you have to pay a very little amount there but you can hit the join button that way you can support us so thank you everyone and you guys have been amazing so goodbye peace and keep enjoying our videos bye bye